Hello my friends, this is Tanya and today we are going to see you hand printed eco bag. So, for sewing the bag we need a natural fabric as a cotton, a linen or a half cotton, half linen. I have really thick to treat cotton and uh, it seems like it's glued cotton. So, how much fabric do we need depends on its width. If you have uh, 150 centimeters width fabric, you will need only 50 centimeters. If you use the same width as me, 19 centimeters, you need approximately one meter of fabric. So let's start to cut off the bag details. Actually, you are free to sew any bag size that you want. I will make the bag 32 on 44 centimeters the simple rectangle shape uh, like a format here are the bag details two piece of bag and two piece of bag handles and here you can see the actual size of my bag details now it's time to decorate our bag as an option you can use wooden block prints called kalamkari i bought it in india but you can also find it in the local stores but it will be more expensive another option is silicone stamps i found it in the local hobby markets they have a lot of options for patterns but i'm not going to use it for my bag because the size of these stamps is really small one more option is linen card stamps. I made two stamps on my own, it's quite an interesting process, but the special linoleum is really expensive as for me. Also we need masking tape and textile acrylic paints. It has many color variation, even gold or silver, but for my bag I choose the bright summer colors. So let's start. And we also need a piece of sponge to apply the paints on the fabric. Do not forget to place some needless fabric under your bag detail because the paint may go through. Take one bag detail, apply acrylic paint on the stamp using sponge and then make the print on the fabric by pressing stamp nicely. Work quickly because acrylic paint dry really fast. Feel free to create any pattern you like. And here's the option if you do not have any pre-made stamps. And for this option, we are going to use the masking tape. So apply the tape randomly on the back detail. I made some geometrical forms, as you see. Then color each section with the paint, any color that you want in any order that you want. When you finish with the colors, then you should remove the masking tape really carefully and you will get the nice colorful pattern. Let the pen dry for 24 hours, then iron print the detail for some fabric and without using the steam. Time to make the handles. Fold the long cuts of the handles in half to the middle and then iron it. And then again double down and iron it. Now we need to make a seam on the both sides of the handle. Now we're going to stitch back details and first stitch back detail from the bottom. So Lay down two bag details with the face side to each other, then pin it together at the bottom and make a seam. And then process the cut with overlock or zigzag seam on your sewing machine. Now we need to iron the seam on the one side. It doesn't matter what side, whatever side you want. Now the back sides of our bag. The same process as we did um, with the bottom. So pin together the back sides and make a seam on the sewing machine. And if you have the overlock, just, just process the cut. And if you do not have, just make a zigzag seam on your sewing machine. Then the same process, iron 
the seam on the one side. It's not so easy to do and for this purpose I have a special sewing block but if you do not have you can use rolled uh, towel. Let's turn out our back and let's stitch the handles to the main detail. Pin the end of the handle to the face side of our back and do the same spacing with the second handle. The same operation we are going to do with the other side of our back. And now we are going to stitch the handles to the back. And also we need to process the top cut with our oven lock or zigzag. Now measure two and a half centimeters from the top of our back and I put the marks using the vanishing pen. And then using these marks we need to bend the edge inward and pin it with the sewing pins. And now we are going to do two finishing lines on the face side of our back. So our back almost done, but there is one thing that you can do and of course it's optional. Turn inside out our back, fold the bottom and the back seam as shown, then pin it, measure 5 cm from the top and make this straight seam. The same from the other side. Fold together, pin it, measure 5 cm, make marks and then make a straight seam. Then you can cut the needless fabric and process the cut with overlock or zigzag seam. Turn out our bag and it's ready. And as you can see, this last step gives some volume to the bottom of our bag. I hope you enjoyed the process and if you have some questions or you do not understand something, you can always write me and I will explain you. And now it's time to get ready for the plein air or urban sketching or just to go in a grocery shop. If you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching!